Good evening, everybody. It is the 11th of October, 2018. This, of course, is PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, and we're back in the public test server on the Xbox, and I thought what we would do, this is quite a big, big update. So we'll go through the uh, patch notes. Well, I'll read out the patch notes while you look at my character just kind of standing there, twiddling her thumbs. And, um, yeah, and then we'll dive into some gameplay. Maybe some friends will come along. I'm not sure. It's still quite early in the evening. It's only 20 past six in the evening here in the UK. But as I say, there's some important things in this uh, in this patch of the test, which will be coming into the full game probably pretty quickly. So, here we go. So, so to start off, if you haven't got the public test server already, and you've got a copy of PUBG on Xbox, just search in the store for PUBG Test Server and you can download it. It's a whole new version of the game, so it's about 13 gigabytes, I think. But, first off, we are getting two new weapons. We are getting the Beryl M762, which is a uh, AR that obviously uses 762 weapons. Um that has a lower bullet damage than the AK, but a higher firing rate. Also, it has a rail, which means that we can now put grips on it. So think of it as a more controllable, probably, AK that we can put a nice grip on, which is good. Um, and obviously it's got a scope, starts off with 30 bullets, you can put an extended take up to 40. Kind of looks like the M416, um, but with the curved... Uh, magazine of the uh, of the AK. So we've got to look out for that one, the Beryl M762. And then the other one is the MK, or the Mark 47 Mutant. Now this is another 762 weapon, but this one um, has single fire or burst fire, uh, which is quite interesting. Um, so maybe think about this one as the 7.62 version of the M16. I know the M16 fires three bursts, but this fires two bursts. Um, it starts off with a 20 round capacity, which I think that's like the Mini 14 does, doesn't it? But if you put an uh, extended mag, it'll go up to 30. It's classed as an assault rifle. Oh, so it should be interesting. Um, and it has a rail. So we, does it have a rail? I can't see a rail. The mutant has two firing modes. Almost all types of attachments could be used the uh, MK47, but it has no stock slot. Well, very few guns do. Maybe you can put... It's not clear in the picture. We'll have to investigate. So the two new weapons, the M762 Beryl and the MK47 Mutant. Now, we're also getting on Sandhawk the scooter. <laughs> Ah, yeah, brilliant. And we're also getting the Tukshai, or the Tuk Tuk, which is one of those little things that looks like a pod that three people can fit and they can whizzle around. Be interesting to see how fast it can go. So, restructuring of the battle point system. Previously, we offered battle point rewards based on your ranking. Now we've restructured the system to take into account both playtime and ranking. Oh. Rewards have been restructured to equalise the difference in BP efficiency based on playing time for each map and mode. You will no longer receive four times the BP because you are playing alone in squad game. Fair enough. Gameplay. Added TPP, third person perspective, aim camera position to options. Now, what this means is, that at the moment, you know when you're soft aiming and you can swap between left and right soft aiming, you can set like a default so it'll always go to that rather than one or the other which is cool not that i'd soft aim very much it's, it's a very weak part of my game that i need to work on uh there's now the laser sight they've added which you can add add to things and it looks like it's a bit of a funny one really the lazy so laser sight so what they say is bullet spread is reduced when hip firing and soft aiming so that sounds like it has a physical change to your the bullets that are coming out of your gun, which is which is quite unusual. It's very Call of Duty that idea, the fact that you the, the, the obviously the idea with the laser sight is that you when you're aiming at someone, the the laser sight is on the person, so you know you're pointing in the right direction. The laser sight in and of itself doesn't make your gun any more accurate; it just makes it easier to aim. But this sound, but this sounds like it does. And uh, you put it on uh, weapons that has a uh, a uh, 
no rail. Now, this is a big one. The marker ping system. So, what we can do now on Xbox is, when you're looking in a direction, here we go, you can press down on the R stick, click it in I guess, and that will put a marker on the compass at the top of the screen. Um, so that you can, so your teammates can see where you're looking at. Now, now what does it say? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Added the improved mark and ping system first introduced for testing on the 8.1 test server update. Using the R button, you can create a marker where you're aiming on the compass at the top of the screen, not visible in the world. So that's quite cool. So you can say, instead of having to say, uh, team West, you know, 200 meters, you can just, well, you can still say that, Team West 200 meters, or, or that's not too bad. It's when you say something like, um, Enemy um, 173, and then a lot of people, including myself sometimes, actually 173 is not a good example, it would be 138, right? Someone says 138, and you're a bit like, uh, where's 138? If you tell me 180, 90, 45, 270, I can, you know, translate that into north, east, south and west. But if it's one of those funny numbers, I have to think a bit, and often I'll look at the compass and whiz around till I hit it. But with this, you'll be able to click in the right button, that'll put a coloured marker on your compass, and then everybody will have to whiz around it. So, but you can only do it every two seconds, and the marker disappears after five seconds. Good. Right, controller guide. They've added something for that. Performance. May, they've said they've made it better, fixed a load of bugs. Okay, so that's basically the test. I'll put the um, notes in the YouTube, the link to the notes in the YouTube description when I uh, upload this to YouTube. So what we're really looking out for is the Beryl M762, the MK47 Mutant, the Scooter, the Tukshai, and uh, to do some marking. So without further ado, let's dive in to a little bit of solo on Sanhok see what we can see. Now these are on the North American server as usual so lag ahoy for us uh, Europeans. Excuse me while I just have a cup of coffee. I've had a bit of a long day, a bit of an early start. I was in a couple of towns today working. I was, where did I go? Peacehaven today. Uh, they're all nice, nice sounding. They're, these are towns near Brighton. Peace Haven, New Haven, I think I was in as well, doing um, some um, some catalogue dropping, we call it in, the, in my business, going out and handing out vouchers and catalogues to potential new customers. Um, don't do it very often. It's a, it was a nice day out, but it's a bit tiring. And so I'm supping on a coffee. Right, here we go. Excuse me. Now, if you're watching this <coughs> on Twitch, hello, welcome to the stream. If you're watching this on YouTube, I recorded this on Twitch and I've exported it to YouTube, so I'm not live right at the time. But that's how I make lots of my Xbox videos. And if you're ever interested and you've got an Xbox and you want to make videos and you're thinking, wait a minute, I can't record videos more than five minutes or I think it's ten minutes long actually on the Xbox. How do I do it? You use Twitch as your DVR and it means you can... You can... Uh, stream as video as long as you like to Twitch and it record it and then you can export it straight to YouTube. So that's good. Right, are we, can we do the marker now? Let's have a look. Yes, look. There's my yellow marker. It's got a splodge though. I guess it's because I'm in solos. Oh yeah, there's not really point doing... Well, there is actually because you could say, right, there's someone behind... When you're doing something, someone behind that tree and then you could run along, reposition and you'd still do it. In fact, let's just try it. See that big palm tree? So... Right, somewhere behind that tree. So if I then run, if I turn and look at that palm tree, no, it's not on the palm tree anymore, is it? It's still going to be, oh, has it disappeared? Oh, okay, it's disappeared. Okay. Let's have a look. So as I wander around, because I wonder if it's a physical point on the map or just the direction. Because if it's a direction, so, so I mark this thing here. Yeah, look, no, it's a physical point on the map. That is interesting because if it was just a direction, like over there, as I turn around, it disappears. But because I'm marking a physical thing on the map, as I dance around the tree, the mark is still there. That is very important, actually. 
that is super duper important because it means you could mark a house and I know the marker is only there for five seconds but it means that that marker is although you only see it on your compass it's in a physical place on the map um, in, in 3d space if you like um, where are we going to go I don't know how about up here somewhere out of the way do you think we'll find a I need, I need the notes an MK-47 Mutant or the M-762 Beryl? Maybe we'll find one over here. The beautiful jungle island of Sanhok. Looks it's like... Oh, hello. Hello, sir. Pleased to meet you. You're going down to um, Paradise Resort. Good. You go down there. You leave me alone. I'm streaming to wonderful people on Twitch and wonderful people watching on YouTube eventually. And they don't want to see me fight, they want to see me get these weapons and fire them and reload them so we can see what they sound like. Things like that. Down we go. Anybody around? Can't see anybody. Excuse me. I think somebody was going over that way, weren't they? It's very good over there with those palm trees. Very good. Loads of stuff. Anybody up there? Nope. Okay. Right. Find me a mutant. We're in the circle. Oh, did you see that? Look. All oh, the things have got like a highlight. Let me go into first person. So you can see them better. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Because I struggle in... Um, on Sandhook, inside these buildings, to find things. Oh, that's better. Well, I was saying it's better. It's less realistic. on that step. Off we go. Here we are. Right. What have we got here? I suppose we'd have to make do with the vector for the time being. In fact, now we're going to What's going on? Why can't I get my lovely ump? Into this building. Right, where should we go? I think we should push this way. In our search for the mutants and the barrel. Where are they? Right, let's put up my marker up. Right. Yeah, so in solos it's just a splodge. So are we gonna let's test that thing again. So the idea is that if I tag this tree here by looking at it. Oh, you can't tag when you're down sights. Okay. So, you see, my, right, exactly. See, it's staying there. So that's where I've tagged. However, if I tag, say, that tree there and spin round, it stays on the tree. Very good. A bit of first person about that. I don't do that very often. You should do it more. We are living and we are learning. I do love first person. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't play it more. I feel at home. I feel like I'm in Battlefield or Call of Duty when I play like this. Ooh. Uh, no. right. You are, of course, at a bit of a disadvantage because you can't third-person peek and all that sort of malarkey. Oh, we want—we're looking for the vehicles, aren't we? The tuk-tuk and the um, what was the other thing? Oh, the scooters. We want the scooter. Round 
de vigor. I am rubbish at jumping through windows. Ah! Oh no, 416. Somebody was shooting at somebody up there, so I could put a tag there, couldn't I? Go right there, up there. Although it disappears too fast to really make any difference. Level 2 helmet, nice. Bit more 9 mil. What compensation is that? I've already got one. way don't we away from that nasty gunfire that was up there we don't want to risk someone shooting at us although if I were them I would probably be heading this way too because this is a nice juicy loot place hello who's on the downward spiral scale have you messed with the camera lock settings at all I haven't should I let me jump in here and I will go into the options if I can get through this Right, so, settings, aim, all right, oh, no, where am I looking, gameplay, audio, graphics, control, all oh, right, oh, no, over the shoulder, uh, wait, I can't see it. Oh, bottom of gameplay. All right, third person perspective, aim camera position. Reset to right soldier, reset to left soldier. Latest aim shoulder, latest peak shoulder. Oh, very clever. Right, what one do I like? I don't know. Uh, I like to look... I don't know. Latest peak shoulder, how about that one? Does that make sense? So if I peek that way, it'll do it that way. And then if I peek that way, it'll do it that way. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because you'll be going around a corner going, oh, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. And then you third person it. Have we talked about this before? I can't remember, mate. If you um, fancy firing up the test server, we can you can join me in this duo while we explore Sandhawk and the new delights it has to... Offer. It throws me off. Oh, well. um, to be honest, uh, soft aiming is a part of my uh, gameplay that I am rubbish at and don't use it as much as I should. In fact, I don't use it at all, really, to be honest. It's probably one of the reason why I struggle in. in um, close quarters combat. Ooh. so much. But look, look at this, see how things yay, show up now. Working. An, ex an accidental accidental lean le switches you over the shoulder, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, you don't have to worry about that now. Because you can set the default that you want it to be. Oh, I think my um, I think I need to change my dead zone. AK. I don't want AKs, but I'm going to pick up the ammo. So if I find one of these new guns, I can use it. Dumpty 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 dum. Maybe 
go. Great. Come on, give me one of the new guns and then... Oh, see? And then it does something like that. <laughs> oh, you naughty, naughty, naughty game. Why do, why do you do that to me, eh? Ah, oh, now you give me some, right. Okay, now you've even given me something else to think about. Okay, so now we drop all this. Great. Come over here. And, uh, okay. I need to get rid of this. I need to get rid of this M16 now. So in our, oh, ooh, what's that? Is that a buggy? Okay. Where are we anyway? Coming up behind Paradise. Oh, there's some houses here. I've got to say that the game feels lovely and smooth. Through the hole. Right, here we go. Well, we still haven't come across one of these new weapons, have we? Or one of these new um, vehicles. Right, where are we? Hmm. So there's a chap over there somewhere, isn't there? We're probably going to bump into. Should be able to put another silencer on the VSS. <laughs> yes, I agree. I agree entirely. It's paradise, so if we can go around paradise, I definitely won't be sorry. Ooh, right, okay, let's um just gather ourselves just for a moment. So it looks like we're not gonna pick up another gun, are we? So let's get rid of this. So we've got first aid kits, two of 15 bandages, one painkiller. Not exactly great in terms of 
boosting up. But I reckon if we go this way. Give me a boost. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got quite a long way to go. Fighting over there. What's over there? Buildings. Okay, let's go straight in then. Right, is it a far circle? No. It's not a fire circle, so we can go slow. Guy on my left will be running like mad now. Oh, there's a guy there. Let him go. It's very rude. Blasting away at me. So. Skedaddle over this way. Yeah, cheers, mate. See him. Where he's going? He has to come out this way. <sighs> hmm.
Oh, he was going around the other side of this rock, wasn't he? I've only got a smoke grenade. Great. I know there's a guy around to the right. Behind me. Killed by a mutant. <laughs> oh, we got to watch him. He's got mutants. Okay, so this guy's got the mutant somewhere, I guess. Let's have a look. See how he does. Well, it's a Captain Snake, yeah. I just maybe if I'd done that, I might have stayed alive. Problem is, when what well, in solos, when you get involved in a few gunfights, even if you're using a suppressor, the people around you know where you are, and your chances of staying alive sort of drop down considerably. So three left. Yeah, look at the mutant. God, it looks evil. So this is the one that fires burst two shot, isn't it, or single shot? And it looks like he's got a QBU, hasn't he? So, what's he going to do? Your chest and head were pretty messed up. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I, I, th these games on the test server, I kind of treat... I mean, I treat them seriously. I play to win. You know, don't get me wrong. I don't muck around or anything like that. But I know I'm at a disadvantage. There he is. Right. Oh, mate. Right, this guy has to win now. Because he knows where those two guys are. No, no, stay where you are. No, st don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. No. Right, they know. They both know where you are now, mate. Oh, what? A uh. Right, let's go to the next guy. He shouldn't have shot. See, he get. Well done, sir. Well done. Yeah, well done. Good man. I know. What a s silly Billy. You know, you don't. He he could have let one of those guys kill kill. The other one, he w they wouldn't have known. But instead, he went for the shot. But I tell you what, that mutant looked a little bit um, bouncy, didn't it? It did bounce around a lot. Okay, let's go again. Let's see. Well, what were we then? We were fourth, weren't we? I think, or something like that, or fifth. So, yeah, that's all right. Okay, let's. I t I, well, let me cancel this first. Let's see if there's anybody else around. Uh, can't see anybody. Let's have a quick look in the Discord. Okay, let's just dive in. Let's dive in. We can't keep everybody waiting. Let's dive in and see if we can find one of these weapons. Actually, I don't really... The, the weapons are okay, um, but it takes as well to get used to them. I want to find this tuk-tuk or the uh, scooter and have a go on one of those. That's the fun side of it. And of course, what have we got later on tonight? Black Ops. Four... Blackout coming, very exciting. Be interesting to see what improvements, what changes that they've made since the beta those couple of short weeks ago. Unfortunately, I've got it on PlayStation, not Xbox. Um, mainly because it's easier for me to create content on the PlayStation, way easier than it is on the Xbox. Because with the PlayStation, you can record up to an hour of gameplay um, with uh, commentary 
onto the PlayStation and then edit it on the PlayStation and add music, add commentary, chop it all up, do all the editing you could ever want to. You know, it's a bit like a <sighs> yeah, yeah. My dead zone's not right on this controller. Let's have a look. Controller guide. No nope. settings. Left stick Z zone. Right stick Z zone. I think my um. My controller is definitely on its way out. The left stick has a bit of drag on it. Hello, look at this fella. He's got the that deserves a apple to the head. Should use my time productively, shouldn't I, with my apples? I'm trying to throw them through windows. Hey, yay, hey, and then a underarm. Toss. No. The trick of the little tosses, aren't they? Over up. Hey. What time is it now? Well, it's um, 1700 hours or 7 o'clock here in the UK. 1900 hours, I'm talking about 7 o'clock in the PM. Right, where are we going? Where do you reckon we could find a tuk tuk or a scooter? I think we could find one over here. Yes, just there. <laughs> well away from everywhere else. Tell you what that last game showed you though, the 416, still a pretty good gun. In fact, I did my video about um, my favourite weapons, and my favourite weapons definitely to take into solo matches, that is, are definitely the VSS as your sniper, and the, um, the 416 as your auto. Sometimes I go with the ump. A lot of it depends on the suppressor I find. If I find an AR suppressor, I'll go with the 416. If I find a SMG suppressor, I'll go with the, with the ump. But definitely the 416, I find, is better at range than the ump. I think, anyway. Um, in fact, I got a second place on Sandhawk yesterday, which could have been a dinner if I'd had the 416, but I had the ump. I didn't have the range to take someone on, which is a bit of a bummer. But I'm going to be doing a video about that soon. It's going to be called Turning... Turning, vict turning defeats into victories through visualization. Yes. The idea behind it is when you die often in PUBG, especially in solos, it can be really frustrating. If you like, even if you're in the top 10 or the top 3, you're like, oh, God, God that really sucks, the fact that I died. Ugh. And, and it can bug you as well. Because, like in a solo, say you, you die in the top 3, ooh, nice or the uh, top two, you're like, oh, and it can really eat away at you sometimes, and you get that in squads as well, where you think, oh, the team was relying on me, and I did this. Oh, there's a boat there as well. Um, so what I do, or what I try and do, is have your DVR turned on in your Xbox, that's the first thing, so that you can watch these mistakes. And don't delete them straight away, you know, when you die and it records it. Don't, don't just delete it. Keep it. And then what you do is you watch it, and you ask yourself, yeah, see how much I'm getting drifter? Um, you ask yourself, what could I have done differently in this sort of situation? And then you kind of close your eyes and replay in your brain, in your head, in your imagination, what you would have done differently and play it out. Um, and if you're not quite sure maybe what you would have done differently, play out a couple of um, different uh, scenarios, you know, that end in you being successful. Um, and what I found is that that helps me turn that feeling of, oh, what, what an idiot, I should have won that, to one of, right, I definitely know what I'm going to be doing next. And by using visualization, where you're actually going through the uh, process of seeing this in your uh, in your mind, you're building in the muscle memories, uh, so that next time it happens, 
you'll have a good chance of um, of doing the, what you want to do without having to think about it. So in my particular situation, I was in a pretty safe situ pretty safe position um, in some how I uh, basically I'd push the circle and and I got myself into into a safe position and everybody are, ah here we have the barrel right we've got the barrel right the barrel is the auto one isn't it there we go oh yeah so we've got the barrel we've got the barrel right oh well that sounded cool didn't it oh we've got six times scope as well so we want the mutant next don't we right, set, uh, full auto Got to find someone to kill now. See, I don't want an AK. Don't show me a crappy. Oh, there's a two times scope. Might take that as well, just in case. I'm not a fan of the two times, but right. Okay, so let's push forward. Um, yeah. So in my case, I was moving out of a safe position, say it like that, inside there, into an open final circle, which is very similar to this. Imagine it was like that. Now I didn't know, but the other guy was behind a rock up there, but he had the circle. So I had to push up like this across the circle. And I had the VSS. And I got the VSS out and I was like trying to hit him, but he was jumping backwards and forwards. I hit him a couple of times, but he was using a four one six. So he hit me harder and I ended up dying. And I was like, Oh, what should I have done differently? And thinking about it, one of the things I could have done was maybe had a different weapon choice, so gone with something like a four one six as well instead of the ump. So I would have had the hard-hitting AR versus the, the SMG. Um, oh, that's it. We've got the mutant. We've got them both. Right, let's get rid of this. So, mutants. So we can put four times scope on the mutant. And we can drop our line mill, pick up some more of that. Let's drop the six and the two. We're not gonna, we don't want to use those. Right, we've got both of the new weapons. Woohoo! Right, uh, burst single. Back to the barrel. Right, we just need to get a chance to use them now, don't we? Ah. Steve's online. Excellent. Maybe he'll come and join me. Oh, so what's tactical stock? No. Right, so now we need to find the tuk-tuk or the scooter. Ooh, level 3 vest. You're going to need level 3 vest if you're rocking these two weapons, aren't you? Because they're so heavy. Level 3 bag, sorry. I lose track of which buildings I've been in as well. I've been in that building, haven't I? <sighs> okay. So some buildings over here. Ah, yes. One message has just come through. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no! Ah! <laughs> I was killed by the mutant as I was trying to answer a message. That's my excuse. Anyway. Oh, well. Okay. So I had both guns. I didn't get a chance to use them. This one. Uh, conversations. Want to try duos? Yes. Right. Let's, um, let's get so Mr. Toad in. Uh, party. Start a party. Controls, make the party invite only. Invite more. Invite to party. Here he is. Send invite. Right. Yes, yeah, so it'll be easy with two, because then I can waffle along. And uh, you can see. Get two people's point of view on the difference. Here we go. Live on Twitch, on the new map, PTS, I say new map, same old map, new guns.
Hello, sir. How are you doing? Very well, very well. You'll just be quiet. I've played one game, and just in that game there, I just picked up the mutant and the barrel. I was about to take them into combat. I got the message from you. I went to check my messages. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't know what I should have done, which was lie down behind a rock. And as I was checking my messages, I got shot in the head and died. By a mutant, funnily enough. So, yeah. So, well, no, it wasn't your... No, it was my fault. I should have laid down behind a rock before I checked my messages instead of just out in the open, just hitting the Xbox button. But, yeah. We'll have to see. I haven't found the scooter or the tuk-tuk thing, whatever it's called, yet. Took shy. I've noticed that I'm getting a bit of drag on my stick. Um, you know, like, um, my left stick's... Are, I, think it, I think I need a new controller. It's got a bit of... It um, doesn't centre quite right. And it, it can drag over to, to one side, and I've been getting that, even though I've got dead zone. Oh, 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 well, yeah, I've noticed that. Um, I, no, I haven't really noticed anything, I haven't really noticed anything different, but to be honest. Oh, the, this new spotting mechanic works, and it spots a physical location on the map a thing which is quite cool not a, not just a direction so if you, if you spot a building if someone say uh, 100 meters away from you one of your teammates but you know at a different point of the compass they will be pointed they will be directed towards the building not that general so say you the building was north to you and west to them it will still point at the building um, which i thought was quite cool even though you it's only a mark on the compass um, does a absolutely yeah, but without uh, anything that appears in your in your field of view apart from a little marker on on the compass. In fact, we can test that now. Yeah, they. Oh, you just get a splodge. I thought it would be a number that comes up, but it's just a splodge on the compass, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, sir. Where would you like to go in our quest for barrels, mutants, tuck shies, and scooters? Sounds good to me. Oh, so it doesn't look like a person. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a bit. Yes, I've been killed by it twice, actually. In both games, I've been killed by the mutant. Yes, absolutely. Can you reach the um, coast? Uh, I, all right. All right, I'll come to you. I don't think there's anybody in that compound where you are. And then we'll run away from them. Well, we'll find a tuk-tuk. Drive away in style. Yes.
Yes, yes, it's easier to see things inside buildings, especially. Uh, I'm good, I've got a helmet in a bag. Oh, and a vector now. I've got one. Right, I'm ready. Yeah, we've got a fair way to go, haven't we? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of drag on my... Yeah, good idea. Yes. Find some classy wheels. Yeah, and it kind of stays there for about five seconds. Yeah, buggy. Nothing exciting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, why didn't, why didn't he die? That was two shots from a shotgun. That was weird. That should have killed him. Yeah, you're right, mate. Boom, boom. I didn't even get any blood spurts. Oh well. In we go again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I find um when 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 you play with someone who's new to PUBG because we tend to, we we think the game's brilliant, don't we? We're like, yeah, it's amazing, oh it's great. And then when you're actually trying to explain it to them and things are happening and you're thinking, Oh right, yeah, I understand why some people don't like this. You know, why it's so janky and difficult to do things and why can't I climb over this wall? Or Yeah. Yes. No. How about uh, southeast of Mong Nai?
few people landing at Camp Bravo, as you'd expect. All right, yeah, they're going for the um, palm trees place, aren't they? Palm oil plantation. Looks like we can do these places here. I'm good, mate. I've got a four. I've got a four. But I haven't got a jacket, funnily enough. Just want to check these. Um... I did, but there might be some stuff you need or want. I don't know. Yeah, there's no jackets. Yeah, when I go into the map, my it all sort of drags. I've got a spare extended for a uh, AR. Would you like it, sir? I hear people. I could have sworn I heard somebody then. Around the other side of this rock, sort of northwest. It might be new. But I might just be paranoid. Oh yeah, I think I've just been paranoid. Sorry, mate. Yes, would you like this um, extended for an AR? I should have used the marker then, shouldn't I? I'd imagine it would be confusing though if you you mean to mark something far away and you mark a tree that's close. Come in. Right, where's his mate? Grenade, they're outside. Oh. oh, I was on single fire. 
<laughs> oh no, it's twice I failed to save you. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. That was terrible. I had him as well. I looked at him and my gun went pop. I went bollocks. Oh man, it's because when I'm when I stream to Twitch, the blue bar covers up my what what my gun's doing. And I flick between auto and burst and full and go too far sometimes. With my excuse anyway. No. We've done very well, though, helping other people with their target practice. Yeah, you can on the mixer one. I do believe it's your turn to uh, pick today, sir. Sounds good to me. Yes, 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 yes. For my sins, I will... Yes, well, I got it on the PlayStation Store, so it downloads it all. It's, well, it's already downloaded. It's just sitting there waiting, waiting to start. So. I might get up early tomorrow or something before I go to work. Play a little bit. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think it'll be Chicken din Dinner Heaven this weekend on PUBG. As lots of people play that. Right, looks like everybody's buggering off to cow. Do you want the right or the left pit? Oh, oh, we got somebody going down in front of us. Oh, look at them. They're going to the right one, aren't they? Ah. Oh no, their mate's coming across. Ah, right, okay. Oh. That was half a clip. Why didn't he die? Oh, there he is, yeah. Just sort of crouched. Oh, 
There is. Nice work, sir. Unlucky. Okay. Good evening, Fing. We're having not much success <laughs> on the uh, this laggy, this very, 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 very laggy PTS. The desync is horrendous. Probably. One more game and then we'll play the normal. I'll finish this stream and then we'll uh, go and play. Go and play normal stuff. No, no, not much showcase at all. Well, I tell you what, why don't I take it off Mini Royale and we'll play on the big map. I'm going to give it a skip. Yeah, I would. I don't blame you, Mr. P Colonel Pink. Um, when it comes to uh, the proper servers, it's probably a bit better. I'd imagine as well that the test servers get hammered, as w and they're probably not the best gaming experience anyway, are they? Yeah, you're probably right there. Right, oh, look at this big map. Glorious. How about we jump late? And then we go up to here. How's it going? Um, Good evening, Downward Spiral. Thank you for uh, joining the stream. We're just going to have one last game. So we're struggling a bit, little bit with the <laughs> desync on the American uh, PTS. It must be that, not my terrible aim, or the fact that I tried to get into a gunfight with my Vector on single fire. Beautiful Miramar. Yeah. I guess for some people it can be a bit be a bit boring, can't it? I think in the I like, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. I like it a lot. I like this. Do I, yeah, they're all different. I mean, yeah, they're all different. I've had great games on all the maps. I can't really, you know, can't really say any difference, to be honest. Tends to be more about where the finals. In fact, I'd say I've probably had more interesting final circles on Miramar. You know, where you're like, oh, well, you know, you come over a, a bridge and then it's all open. <laughs> so you're like, Oh my god, <laughs> what am I going to do? Um, or fight... Yeah. But I do like that verticality as well, the fact that you, you're not constantly trying to hide behind a tree. Um, like you are in... Um, on Erangel and uh, definitely Sandhawk, isn't it? Where you can't, 
when somebody fires a gun on Sandhog, it can be really difficult to figure out where they are because you can't see them. There's so much foliage in the way. But I think they need to put more vehicles on this map. Cause Nobody's crazy enough to try this tactic. Right. Let's see if we can find a vehicle. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, same here. I'll hide in the grass until the final two, if I can. If I get so nervous. Yeah, right. I think I've got a buggy. Uh, sorry, uh, truck in front of me. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, I, I did manage to get it, but I guess with that drag that might be happening, it kind of cancels it out, doesn't it? Maybe. And we're off. Actually, the car seems very uh, sprightly, kind of sensitive. Whoa! Ooh. Oops, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. It does, yes. Barrel? It's definitely an improvement. Just makes it look a little bit like H1Z1. Hmm. Definitely feels a little bit different the game, but you don't know whether that's the difference in sensitivity between this game and how I've got it set up on the other one, I guess. Could be. You should be able to export your settings, should you, or something. Oh, is that one of the... Ch oh, yeah, I did read that, yeah. I mean, I have mine pretty low anyway. Oh, you got a barrel! <gasps> what have I got? I've got an AK. In fact, I tell you what, if I take the AK and the SKS, I'll be able to swap them out when I for a barrel and a mutant if I come across one.
Right, I've set my AK to fully auto, so we shouldn't have any embarrassing deaths. Like, good. There's plenty over where I am. Uh, I'm good, I've got my AK and my SKS, so even though I hate the AK, I'm going to persevere till I find the barrel. I used to love the AK so much. Do you need any 556? There's a 416 in there. I tell you, what, I want to take the 416. The thought of the. I just can't stand the thought of using the AK. Can't stand it. Right, I guess we can. Um, Good head north, can't we? Do something like that. Bit. Oh, you, oh, I'm glad. Well, I'm not glad you're getting it as well, but it's, it means I'm, it's not just me then. It really makes you wonder what they do to test these games, don't they, before, before they put it live. There's one down um, here, mate. There's a level one here. Oh, should we do this little... Have we done this one? Pro probably got enough time. What are you looking for? Yeah, same here. Good. Oh, climb through the window! Oh, uh, level 2 helmet up here. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, another grenade. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, let me get let me get close so I can see. Ooh. Ooh. What about on burst? Oh, fully auto. Oh, yes. And again. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, why don't we go up to this wall here and um, aim for the middle of the wall, you know, this wall here. 
I'll aim towards the, the square window, and if you aim towards the middle of the uh, arch window, and we'll both go fully auto. I've got a 416. In fact, no, I'll, tell you, I'll, do, I'll go to the edge of the arch window and just go fully auto, and we'll compare the um, recoil. Right, so. Right, three, two, one. Oh, wow, yeah, they're both pretty vicious. <laughs> there we are, live on stream. Look at that, wow. There's a scientific uh, experiment there. Both guns have lots of recoil on them. Without any... Oh, the blue's definitely um, thicker, isn't it, now as well? Yeah. Which is a bit strange. A level 2 bag in my building. Ground floor. My glass. Again and again and again. I've got one in here. Oh. We can go double barrel. Get rid of this nasty 556, five, don't need that anymore. Well, it sounds quite nice, doesn't it, when you load it? Oh. What's burst like? Oh, it's a three-round burst. I tell you what, that's quite nicely controlled, isn't it? The three-round burst. All right, yeah. Yes, there is a reason for that. And the reason is that all the sights are... Their, um, the centre is for 100 metres. Um, yeah, I wondered about that. So, so, so I think even like um, red dots and things, they'll always be slightly above. Right, where we got to go next? Ooh, round there maybe? I don't know. Did I give you your four times back? I did, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. Was El Pozo far, was it, from the flight path? Reasonably, wasn't it? Just 
stick together now. Well, there's a level three bag there, mate. All right, I've got my three times scope. Excellent. Oh, is that? Oh, I'd rather have that. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Right, I'm after um, a grip and not not nozzle things. Muzzle, muzzle attachments, I think is the technical term. Are you right for meds? I've got two first aid kits and a med kit. I've got, oh wait a minute, let me give you some painkillers mate, I've got. Right, ooh. ooh. Run away. Where were they firing from? Somewhere over there. <laughs> Let's do it a little bit more. We can, I think we can go up to the top of this building, can we? Alright, let's go to the top of it. I would pay money to see Toad catch one right now in the head. That is not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's downward spiral res. Probably played played with it a few times. One of the um, one of our American cousins. Right, where are we? Oh yeah. Yeah, we've only got a minute and forty, haven't we? Those, oh, I can't remember. Where were those fellas? Yeah, I can't see anybody. I've lost my sense of direction coming off all these stairs. I suppose we ought to go. We could drive it, couldn't we, and then go to the north? I almost jumped out of the building there. Oh. Oh, if I could find my way out. You taking the mutant? Excellent. Right, where did we park? Was it over by the warehouse? Is it over here? Oh. No, I've already already got one, mate. I, I always put it in. Oh, where's the car gone? Oh no, here it is. Here it is. Whew. Whew. Thought we'd lost that car then. Yeah, whoa, yeah, I'm getting loads of stick drift when I drive.
Whoa! As soon as I stop steering, that's it. It's like all over the place. Park our trusty steed there. Right. Whew. Right, have we got anybody behind us? Let's go and have a look. Oh, right, yeah, I'm using your marker. Fantastic. All the markers gone. Woo! Somebody firing at me. Or you. Sorry. Right. right, I'm hiding behind a big rock. They might be an over over they might be over. Oh, you can't mark the sky, so you can't just mark a general direction. Yeah, so maybe over at those big mountains over there. Car moving down below. You see the guy running? Oh, they're both running now, aren't they? Bullet drop is horrendous for me. Oh, somebody hit. Did you hit him then, mate? Oh, I'm taking fire from somewhere else. Is it right bumper? Uh, no, you, you click in your right stick. Um, say I want to mark that over there. And a little splodge appears on the compass. Should we go and take this uh, ground in front of us? Okay, I'm in. Hasn't appeared on my thing. Oh, I see him. Uh, there. <laughs> there. <laughs> you won't let me mark him.
Can't see him, mate. Sorry. All right, I see him. Tagged him. He's uh, still alive. Blue's coming in. Have they got the blue? Don't know if they are they in. All right, well they're going to be. Oh, nice. Well done. <laughs> I don't know. Um, circles behind us. So we can get a circle, if you like. And then wait for them to come to us. Or wait for him to push. Don't know, mate. Should we go... Uh, Right, there's people behind us. There's a nice little rock down here. Right, team 190, uh, that way. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm down. Right, where are they? Okay, they're 235. I'm down, I'm dead. No worries. We got a bit pinched there, didn't we? It was coming. Quite a lot of people left for that sort of stuff. Let's see how it finishes. Yeah. Two versus one versus one, maybe? Two versus one now. These guys have got it. Right, they know where he is, behind the rock. What are you doing? Can't they see that guy? He's just sitting on the side of the rock looking at him, I think. Cool. Right, I'll end the stream there, and then should we play some normal?